Hello everyone, we're moving on to the series into Capricorn in the cell salt series so we're moving into what they call calcium phosphate the cell builder the general tonic and the growth supporter ruled by the planet Saturn it rules the knees the skin the bones the teeth as well on a different level compared to calcium calc fluor and calcium phosphate both deal with the teeth but and they still deal with the translucent last sorry translucent teeth but calc fluor in differential uh, differential diagnosis has more the yellowing of the teeth as calc fluor sorry calc phos tends to have um they can be translucent they can be loose and they also can have the very those sometimes you see people with the really bright white lines in the teeth and you and also with the white dots on the fingernails are indicated of a uh, for calcium phosphate now this this salt is incredible because it, it will pretty much cure all um, pediatric or childhood behavioral problems in my opinion and what I've observed clinically so when I'm writing my I'm writing a book on my moment at the moment on the salts and I'm going to put in some case studies that I've experienced with certain salts that have been remarkable but for uh, tonics and just when children are growing this is one of the salts you can use just as a general tonic to help support children who get growing pains things like this behavioral problems concentration problems and it's a jing tonic in chinese medicine so it works on strengthening the jing which is our life essence our life force it is um it's our dna so to speak and it's an important analogy to understand jing because this is comes from Taoist philosophy and chinese medical philosophy and it is connected to one of the three treasures that um that is critical in cultivating one's health so this salt is remarkable on that and one of the key things and this is a little bit esoteric coming from Taoism it settles what they call the hun and the po especially in children which are the two souls that re reside in the liver and the lung which is incredibly important for behavioral problems dream disturbed sleep things like this uh, the heart and kidney access not communicating from a chinese medical point of view this is another reason why we would use this salt uh, and people can get arrhythmias uh, palpitations anxiety from this connection not in contact it's a key salt for uh, women going through menopause in terms of hot flushing um, they can have certain pains and aches in the body as well and it can give rise to heart palpitations and hypertension as well in that menopausal transition phase and it's just an incredible salt really when we look into George W. Carey's book on Taoist alchemy, I would translate it from his work and from his understanding of it. It is actually a gin tonic. And it's one of the key salts 
for anemia. Anyone suffering from anemia. Because the thing is, when you understand these salts, if you don't have... There's no point... If you're calcium phosphate deficient, there's no point in having ferrum phosphate, which is iron, which I haven't talked about yet. Uh, because if you just take an iron tonic, but then you're calcium phosphate deficient, then you need the calcium phosphate to absorb the iron really well, which is a really, really important thing to emphasize. So this is why practitioners are important because uh, we should never really self-diagnose with these things, but there's general tonics we can take. Um, and so any osteoporosis and cracking of the skins and the hands as well, growing pains and stiff joints, like I said, growing pains in children, headaches in children. Uh, and like I said, behavioral problems in children are mostly just treated with calcium phosphate. Uh, it can be a, another indication for low libido, indicated for um, excessive wax in the ears. And another interesting one when it comes to nasal discharge and congestion this is a salt that's used with uh, blood streaked nasal guitar there can be um, frequent ear nose and throat infections with children which are really good uh, cold and numb extremities um, bed wetting with children so when all else fails with pediatric stuff which I've seen over the years with so many people spending so many hundreds of thousands of dollars seeing these specialists who can't work out what's going on most of the time with uh, calcium phosphate it's pretty much resolved and like i was saying before the settling the hun and the po with, with, with these aspects these are a little bit esoteric to taoism but really important these concepts to understand the nature of these and how it will calm the spirit of the child or in an adult as well when we have those frightful and fearful dreams so we can see these white flaky streaks on the fingernails and in the teeth that are indicated um, in in men's health particularly uh, swelling of the testes even pain in the testes with with back pain and the um, an itchy scrotum this calcium phosphate will always give rise to skin conditions. Capricorn rules the skin. So things can come out and fester on this level when we're really deficient in these. Um, aching at the back with menstruation as well, so which can be a, a jing deficiency. So these salt is remarkable. And on a psych level, there can be a lot of mental weakness, mental fatigue. Uh, a, a, from It's also indicated like a, as a jing deficiency. So when we drain too much jing from men, from a semen, um, seminal point of view, from indulging in too much sex or masturbation, so to speak, and our brain's just not firing like it used to, or tonify, it's a brain tonic. Jing tonic has a lot to do with the with the brain. It's it's very much indicated for um, loss of motivation and mental weakness, like I said before. On a psych level, difficulty in handling bad news, bad news that tends to really rattle you and you can't really handle anything too heavy. People suffer melancholy. And a very interesting thing about this salt is people are really deficient in it will always have the constant desire to travel and want to move. There can also be a fear of failure, a low self-esteem. Like I said before, children who have learning difficulties or struggle to concentrate and particularly poor memory. Now children who grow up gene deficiency from a uh, congenital point of view in a DNA point of view, it is uh, a, a fantastic tonic. This is the one you'll go to. And it's just a, an amazing salt, this one. This is one of the ones, it's, it's really mainly indicated for children. And it's um, incredible. 
So that's pretty much it for um, calc FOSS. It gets a little bit deeper. I'm going to continue with the part twos. I'm just putting it on hold at the moment because I'm just finishing off a... Um, I just finished my Chinese astrology book. So I just got to make sure that comes out right. Just And... Um, and I'm, I'm currently working on this one as well. Now, for those of you interested in Wilhelm Reich, I'm getting a, a, an interesting interview lined up with uh, Leon Southgate, who wrote a very interesting research paper into d the concept of chi and organ energy. So that'll be an interesting interview. So stay tuned for that one. And thanks for listening. And we'll continue later on with... The next one, which will be Aquarius.